defensive coalition of Israel and its, and its international partners success, successfully thwarted a large-scale attack from Iran. Iran and its proxies launched approximately 350 suicide drones, cruise missiles, and ballistic missiles and rockets from Iran, Iraq, Yemen, and Hezbollah in Lebanon towards Israel with approximately 60 tons of warheads and explosive materials. But the threat from Iran was met with the, with the aerial operational technology technological and intelligence superiority of a united defensive coalition of international allies led by the United States together with Great Britain, France and other, and other partners. Together we intercepted 99% of the threats towards Israel. Together we thwarted Iran's attack. Iran's unprecedented attack was met with an unprecedented defense. This was the first time that such a coalition worked together against the threat of Iran and its proxies in the Middle East. Even while under attack from Iran, we have not lost sight, not for one moment, of our critical mission in Gaza to rescue our hostages from the hands of Iran's proxies, Hamas, of our moral duty to do everything in our power to bring 133 hostages back home. Hamas recently rejected the hostage release proposal offered to them by the mediators. Hamas and Iran want to ignite the Middle East and to escalate the region. We are still on high alert and assessing the situation. Over the last few hours, we approved operational plans for both offensive and defensive action. We will continue to protect the state, of, the state of Israel and together with our partners, we will continue to build a more secure and stable future for the entire Middle East. Questions, please question from NBC. What do you think Iran's intentions were for this attack and how will it impact Israel's approach to Gaza, particularly its plan for Rafah? Last night was approved that Iran seeks escalation. Iran launched over 350 threats, ballistic missiles, cruise missiles, rockets, and suicide drones towards Israel and also other countries in the region could have got that threat on the way. Iran doesn't just pose a threat to Israel, Iran poses a threat to the entire Middle East. Iran yesterday seized the ship in the maritime domain. She hijacked a Western innocent cargo ship towards uh, Iran. This is a crime, this is piracy. Iran closed the aerial space yesterday, firing all those threats towards Israel. Iran, from the beginning of the war, wants only one thing, to escalate the region. Until now, she worked through her proxies, but now she revealed, trying to escalate the region herself. Hamas, like Iran, wants to escalate the region. Hamas is still holding our hostages in Gaza, and we must do everything we can to release our hostages in Gaza. We also have hostages in Rafah, and we will do everything we can to bring them back home. Thank you.